Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look inside a box of Kitty Hawk's brand new Seahawk, the MH60R. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new kit review. And as you can see, it's the beautiful MH60R Seahawk from Kitty Hawk. This is again a 60R. Now Kitty Hawk have brought out like, I don't know, like 10,000 different versions of this kit. There's every, pretty much every Black Hawk and Seahawk available you can get. This is um, KH50008, where I think I did too many zeros. One, two, three, three zeros. Five, zero, 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 eight. Um, so this is latest release. I don't think it's out yet in the stores, either in Europe or, or North America. Um, the thing now with Kitty Hawk is you can actually buy it from them direct. So what I'll do is in the show notes below in the comments, I'll put the email address for Sophia. So you just email Sophia and, and tell her what you want and then they'll send it to you directly from the factory. Um, it's actually the same price, it's not a little bit cheaper than get hobby shops as well. And the nice thing is they actually ship it FedEx Express mail, including the price. So that uh, comes all the way from Shenzhen in China. Basically, it's outside Hong Kong, right? So it's, um, I ordered mine just before Chinese New Year. And so obviously they'll shut down for a week, but as soon as they came back from Chinese New Year, they shipped it. Um, and it took from shipping it to getting here, here in the East Coast of the US, it took about a week, um, which is bad at all with FedEx. Um, it showed it just basically stuck in Shenzhen for a few days. And then before you know it, it's in Memphis and then up to here in Virginia and out for delivery. Um, they, they sent it FedEx Express, like I mentioned, so it's guaranteed delivery by noon. Well, not only it's guaranteed, but they'll deliver by noon as well, which is kind of nice. So all well, that's including the price. Um, so you pretty much get the shipping, that express shipping included what you're paying in the store. So I went to Sprue Brothers or Scale Hobbyist or Hannon's or any of the big sites, what you would pay um, there would probably about the same price I get shipped from China. So just a heads up on that one. So Kitty Hawk have a bad reputation for kits, especially the smaller scale. The instructions are crap. Um, you if you do them opened up with the hatches and stuff, it seems to work, the panels, it seems to work okay. But if you try to close these things up, it always seems to be a nightmare. So these helicopters are um, actually designed by a different company, not not Kitty Hawk. They, they kind of outsource it. So a different company hand, handle the 35th scale helicopters. Um, and these these go over a lot nicer than what you might think about the aircraft. So they, they do, do build up really nice. Um, Phil Flory's just done one. Um, I think he, you know, he really enjoyed the build. There's a couple of things, I think, in the instructions. Um, Firstly, I think one of the parts on the rotor is, mis is molded backwards, maybe. So you have to cut something off, um, a small thing. Um, I think you can do the, ta the, the rotors, you can do folded, but I don't think it tells you the instructions how to fold them. Um, and there's a few other little parts and instructions with some little niggles and stuff too. But if, if you watch his um, build video, I think that would really help and you kind of understand the nuances. But once you got understand what they are, it actually goes together really well. That's why I understand. Well, he didn't do the R, but he did the R, one of the older versions. I personally think the R is the best looking one out of all of them. Not only got some great schemes, but I like all this stuff on this, hanging on the side. So this is what caught my eye. So I almost bought a pay fork a year ago, and I'm glad now I kind of held out um, for this guy, which is a 60R again. So let me open the box. I'm not opening this box yet. And I'm just going to, nothing really to see. Each, each side of the box is exactly the same, just the same picture. Nothing really to see there. So what we're greeted with is this huge box crown pack full of plastic. I mean, it's gonna take us a while to go for all this. Um, so let me kind of put this to the side real quick and let's first look at the instructions. Now, the thing with Kitty Hawk I mentioned is the instructions are kind of crap. So you might want to always kind of dry fit and just check stuff we commit to gluing. So first of all, we've got obviously all the pot sprues and decals. There's three sheets of decals on this. Um, I'm going through this, I'll go through this real quickly. If you have any you, know, you can always pause it if you want to look at more detail. But basically start with the internals. Um, looks like making some holes on this, like this cabin floor, working on the cockpit. Uh, I'm not sure if a helicopter is a cockpit. It's a flight deck cockpit, I'm not sure. A um, lot, lot of nice internals going on here. Um, and just working our way through seats. Looks like we have some little bits and bobs going on, seats. And then look at quite a lot of internals. You see right here, and, and actually being in this helicopter, there's quite a lot of open panel, like open doors and stuff. So you actually might see quite a lot of this, I think. So a lot of really nice detail going on in there, in the cabin. Carrying on working with the cabin. Uh, I might disclaim I know nothing about helicopters, so I, I've never built one before. This might be my first one. So um, it's bear with me, I, terminology and parts and stuff. I'm not really sure what's going on here. So looks at the instrument panel. Then we've got engine, a couple of engines. 
I think you can really add some nice detail with adding a little bit of wiring and stuff. You can really kind of make this pop, I think. Then you look at, you're sandwiching the, the cabin between the two fuselage halves, adding the engines on top, which probably built as a sub-assembly and added later. They just kind of stuck together. Then doors and cowling, engine cowlings. Um, we'll look at the decals in a minute. Sorry, the uh, markings in a minute. Then looks like carry on more parts, lumps and bumps, kind of stuff. And it's like tail you can have open or you can have it closed. I might be tempted to do. I want this one all folded up, so I think I have the tail folded and um, the rotors folded back too. And going on through, looks like we have some, now we're at like the ordnance, some, some like kind of guns, some missiles and stuff. Pretty hellfire, I don't say, but I'm not sure exactly what they are. Um, lumps and bumps again, and only give me one option for the tails. Let me check. Uh, okay, so it's showing you the little parts going into the rotor um, and blades. They're showing open, but on this page here, it says finish, you can have open or closed. So it doesn't quite show you how to close it. Unless it's just simply just rotating, just folding the back, I guess. We'll see when we get to it, when we build it, I guess. Um, then that's pretty much it. So let's look at the markings. There's six markings in this. You got, they're all beautiful. So this one looks like it's the HSM 35, I'm not sure exactly, it's like some kind of like Halloween kind of character or something on the back. Magicians is what it says on the tail. There's this guy, which is HSM 49, like a scorpion, which is kind of nice, in the red. And then going back to the middle, they had four more. So they had this guy with American flag, HSM 78. They have this nice one with like t tiger markings, HSM 73, that's really nice. This is what probably I'm gonna do. It looks like they have de they have decals for the tiger stripes. I think I'll go with this one, HS HSM 73, um, the kind of tiger markings. I really kind of like this one. Often though manufacturers do these kind of markings. They don't give you any kind of decals for the tiger stripes. So, I mean, I'm not gonna mask and paint all that stuff. That's way beyond my expertise, but if they got decals, which I think they do, it'd be nice to kind of do this one for me, I think. And also the last one, which I kind of like too, is a little different, the blues. Um, H HSM 41, that looks a really nice scheme too. So some really nice markings in this one. So that's the instructions, we'll whizzing through that real quick. Okay, so doing this for the second time, some technical difficulties and look, kind of look crap to be honest with you. So hopefully this time comes out better. So this is the second time I'm doing it. I think the instructions part came out, we got just of that. So let me kind of go for the plastic again. Um, and there's tons of plastic. So they're all gonna be a different order because I've obviously run, run through this already, but at least I'd have to open all the bags. So the first two are the clear parts. Looking really good, no distortion at all. Some really nice detail too around the windows. You can see like the rivets. Really nice, and you get a second plastic clear parts, windscreen, again, beautifully molded, no problems at all. So there are clear parts. Then you got the tail. This is the part that you can have it folded or you can have it normal, like, like normal position. Really nice detail, should pick out the rivets. And the main piece, two giant fuselages. So give me an idea of size on this guy. What we're up to like 14 inches plus the tails. They're about 18 inches long if you want it extended. Um, obviously the rotors are a big part of this thing too, but if you haven't folded it, it's not gonna be quite so bad. But hopefully you can see that in the detail, the detail on this, tons of de service detail. Looks really good. And the other side, obviously exactly the same in terms of detail. OK, 
Okay, and there's a lot of sprues, so I'll go through this pretty quickly, plus I've done it already, so I don't, I'm second time round. So here's the next part. Um, see the rotors. Some of the detail again. Really big sprues, so big parts. One thing I noticed for this kit too when I went around the first time, it's not too many little parts. Most of these are big chunky parts, so there's not tons of like little like mini mini art kind of things. These you know pretty decent sized parts on this kit. Um, some more parts here. Some detail on that. Rotor. The thing too is, like I mentioned, there's a lot of different versions of this kit. So I think I've heard you can build pretty much multiple versions from the plastic. So there's a lot of parts you don't use. So later on, you'll see we have a center console. We actually have two different center consoles. So it's just a matter of make sure you use the right part and that kind of stuff, I guess. But again, another big sprue, no problems at all. Can't zoom out a little bit. Okay. Uh, these are match pair, so these look like the rocket pods. We have the engines right here. Just various other little parts, nothing too exciting on there. Then you get two of those. Next up, another match pair, rotors and wheels. Again, more giants, big sprues. Wheels look decent. Two parts. Rotors. And there's other little parts on this one. So again, two of those. A lot of plastic in this kit. You get a lot for your money, for sure. Okay, another match pair. So two more of the rotors. Plus, it looks like you have um, some other parts on here too. Nose wheel. So you get two of those. Okay, next up, one of the center consoles. I can't remember which one you use, but that's one. And some other cool parts. Again, really nice detail. Very crisp plastic, um, no flash, I can see. Really nicely molded. Okay, again, some more exciting parts here. The old center console, again, I'm not sure exactly which one you use. I'll look at the instructions again. And that's the overhead, I believe. Again, really nicely detailed plastic and a good size too, so you can see this. It's not like it's super tiny or anything. The front part of the cockpit floor. And then tied some tie down, molded in. Again, really fine rivets, nice detail. Internal details. Even the doors are nicely molded with the I don't know if you can make that out, the handles. Okay. 
big sprue right here. Um, some really nice parts too. Look at this one piece. You got the instrument panel. This is really nicely molded too. I mean, all of this is, is beautiful. And one thing this sprue actually I noticed, this is, I think this is mold release agent, but this is some part of these parts a little bit oily. So this one, this sprue for sure needed a little bit of a wash under you know, warm soapy water just to kind of wash off any kind of residue. Um, the other ones don't seem quite so bad, but this is a newer kit. Like I said, the, the, um, the R version, the Romeo version of this is a, is a newer, it's just come out. Um, so this might be one of the first off the line. So might be the reason why, but beautiful detail. Again, that one's a little bit oily. And then the final bit of plastic, I've gone through this really quickly because I said I did this before, it's my second time doing it. So you can always pause when I put these down and look at it in more detail if you like. But again, another really big sprue, tons of plastic, big piece of plastic and beautifully detailed. Like this guy right here, I think it's the roof maybe of the cabin. Again, the detail, really nice fine power lines. Kind of looks like a microwave, but that's, that's not know what it is, but... Very nice. Just looking for the back side of this too. It's yeah, really nicely molded. Great. Now, decals. Tons of de decals. Obviously, we saw the options earlier. Well, actually, before I do that, there's a photo etch at the bottom of the pack here. So we've got a pack of photo etch, a couple of seat belts for the, for the pilots, um, some other little bits and bobs too. So this is more the stencils on this one. No problem at all. Very flat, but looks like thin carry film. I don't know if, I think people really have issues with Kitty Craft, Kitty Craft, <laughs> Kitty Hawk um, decals. It's cool. And two big sheets. So I've got this sheet, which is very nice. Tons of really interesting markings there too, like the skeleton magician. Um, so we have a couple of instrument panels on here too. Scorpion and various other markings on that one. And then another big decal sheet. One I like, the tiger markings. Now, spoiler alert, unfortunately, this is one big decal, so it's, they're not individually cut out. So, you can catch on the light here. You guys can see. see it but the whole thing is one decal all of it the sides and stuff so I don't want to cover my whole aircraft and carry film so what if I do do this what I'm gonna to have to do is with a knife or scissors carefully cut out round each individual tiger stripe and then apply it um, that way I think because I don't want all this carrot film in between um, probably the best way to handle that but I'm still want to do that scheme um, tempted by it definitely tiger markings but like I say it's a little bummer they got all these like one giant decal for each kind of part but nevertheless, look pretty decent. Um, like I say, carry film's pretty minimal. Um, seam and register. And yeah, a little flat though. But obviously, once you add a coat, clear coat and stuff, it's going to make it pop a little bit more. And that is it. I say that, there's a lot of stuff. Let me bring the box back in the shop. This is. You get a lot for your money on this one. I mean, it's a good size. So what we say, about 18 inches, about, you're probably about 14 inches if you have it folded up, um, which is probably the way I'll go. Um, tons of detail on this, especially on the cabin. Really, I think if you want a Seahawk family, this is probably the one to go with. Um, any of the range, they're pretty much all the same kits, just different tweaks you know, for different versions and stuff. But I understand with Romeo, you can backdate it to the other ones if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, it looks a really nice kit. It just looks awesome, right? The way it looks, just, I don't know, it's very cool. So that is it. So hopefully, you that was some of use to anybody and um, yeah as always I do my reviews on Tuesdays and Fridays my build videos um, but until next time have a great week see you later bye bye